Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys all here. Thank you so much for your love, your beautiful energy, and your comments. I wish I could reply to all of you guys seriously, but I do read every single one of your comments. And the amount of gratitude that I have for the love and the beautiful messages that you guys share with me on a regular basis, I mean, I have no words for it, okay? Life is all about a pos you know, energy exchange. I was going to say positive energy exchange, but that, that's to say that there is no such thing as negative energy. Negative energy exists, but being able to exchange that positive energy with you guys regularly is just beautiful, and I'm grateful. Okay, for those of you that are new, very quickly, okay, I'm going to keep the intro short. I like to introduce my style of reading, because otherwise... It won't make any sense to you. <laughs> it's a little bit different, I guess, from what I see on YouTube. Um, I'm a medium. That's my main ability. What does that mean? That means that my natural ability is to physically connect to those that have crossed over, spirit, angels. I'm very connected to the angelic realm in particular. Okay? And therefore, my I'm a no tools reader. So you're going to hear me channel quite a bit. I'm not talking your head off. The moment that I begin channeling, it's a back and forth communication that I have with the spirit. So I'm just sharing what they're telling me. They then have me pull oracle cards and tarot cards. It's I don't have a particular spread. It's all, again, it's a back and forth communication that we have. So every reading that you're going to see on this uh, channel is going to be different. Because if they tell me, pull a card from this deck and pull a card from this deck... It's all, you know, it's on the spot. It's what I, they're literally physically next to me telling me what to do. So with that being said, oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys that are already there. You'd be missing out if you're not there. I do post a lot of extra content over there. Uh, just go down to the description box to get more information. There is a link that will send you there directly. Or you can just search it um, by typing in Victoria underscore the underscore medium. And then click follow. Okay, so I couldn't contain myself. I'm like, intro, hurry up. Because I have so much to say. The most interesting, this is, okay. This is going to be an interesting reading, reading right now. It's not going to be, well, every reading here is different. But the most interesting thing happened right now. I literally just recorded one of my usual hour plus long well, it was an hour and 40 minutes, <laughs> as usual, readings uh, for the collective energy. And I was confident about it. And the messages were, I mean, beautiful. There was a lot that the divine had me channel. What else is there to do after you record a reading but upload it, right? Um, but this, I've never experienced this before. But I, I will tell you. I have a very strong connection in particular to Archangel Michael. And he, I mean, he's always with me. But in particular, like particularly lately, it's like he's really intensely pushing me towards a particular mission. And I know that for me in particular, and I, I share this because, you know, it could also be in synchronicity for you. It could mean something for you. Every time I see the number 144, I know that that's him trying to speak to me, even though I hear him all the time. And it's like, everywhere I look, it's 144, 144, 1144. I'm like, okay, okay, what is it? Anyway, so I was about to post this reading, and I was just blocked, like intensely. I had goosebumps all over my arms, all over my arms. And it was my angels, and it was Archangel Michael, and basically... He said not to post it. He told me to post it tomorrow. So he didn't tell me to delete it. But he said that it wasn't time to post that. Just interesting. I'm like, so why do you have... I don't... Let me not question the divine. That is not... That is not what we're supposed to be doing here. But he blocked me. So there must be something in the energy collectively right now. Okay. There are no accidents. If you were led here, it's for a reason. It is most likely because you are meant to hear the message that I channeled earlier. But remember, 
everything is about perspective. Not one person on this planet has the same perspective of the world. Because the way that we perceive things is based on your programming and your subconscious mind, which dictates 95% of your actions. That's written, right? So, because of that, the divine usually always, especially Archangel Michael, because he's here to protect, right? That's his job. You find him on images always with his foot on top of the devil, you know, and his armor and his shield. And that's exactly how I, I felt him. Um, and basically, whenever he has me channel something in the beginning of a reading, it's because he wants to remember it's mediumship. So they go through me so you can feel their energy. It's not just about the messages I'm sharing, but because... For me to connect as a medium, a lot of people are curious as to how that works. They're very high vibrational beings. Humans, we're in the middle. Low vibrational beings, like the devil energy, that's super low vibrational, right? So the human experience is being right in the middle. That's why our human experience is all about lessons and journeys and confusion and feeling pain and bliss and every... It's difficult because we live in a constant state of being pulled up towards high vibrational beings, the angels, spirit, and being pulled down by the devil energies, right? And because we are in physical form, okay, in, like human bodies, we are so dense. We are so dense. This is, I'm channeling already, that we though everything that we experience every day of our life we are energetic beings everything is energy remember i said it's all about perception we collectively have been programmed to perceive our experiences right in a very physical way and not so much as energy Okay, meaning we were programmed as a society not to really think of our experience as us being in the middle, being pulled up by angels and being pulled down by the devil. Even though the basis of every single religious text that I've read is exactly that. That's what heaven and hell is. That's what heaven and hell is. Really? It's us being human and us being pulled up and being pulled down. And it's because we are dense, right? Our perception, it's like we're like la di da di da a little bit, even though we feel it, every like everything that's going on. That's why we're so easily pulled down. We're so easily pulled up. The thing is, why is this all relevant? I'm channeling already. They're through me. So I'm just... I'm not even, it's a trance. I don't even, I'm just relaying what they're saying. There's a reason they're sharing this. So basically, with that being said, understand that when we pass away, okay, and our bodies are gone, that's all we are is energy, right? So when people ask as a medium, how do I connect? That's exactly it. Us being human, right? Being in the middle. Because we're unconscious, like I said, the way we're programmed, when I'm going down in the supermarket or shopping or whatever, I am, I'm always connected, but I'm not perceiving, you know, the divine, the way I'm perceiving the divine when my intention is focused on connecting with them the way I'm doing right now. For me to connect to the angels, they have to lower their vibration a little bit. And I have to raise my vibration a little bit so that we can connect. It's literally like, think of a cell phone. Think of like data, Wi-Fi. Like really, that's, that's what it, that's what our life, that's what existence is. Really. It's all electricity and, and energy. So as a medium, the way that, and they're having me express my process. It's for, it's going to make sense for a reason because I'm channeling. As a medium, the, the reason that I'm able to do what I do so well is because I've already, with the intention, 
been able to get to a place where I can perceive, it's already in my consciousness, where exactly, to what degree, the exact point that I have to raise my vibration to, okay? That's not too high that it's going to exhaust me and it's not too low that I can't connect. I've, I already know, because I do this every day, exactly how much I have to raise my vibration so that they can come down and meet me and then give me a, uh, information. And the way channeling works, they're telling me right now, is that's why they call it downloads. They're of higher vibration, higher frequency. So think of it as, again, like a cell phone. I don't know why they're having me channel all this, but I don't question it. So just listen, this is, there's a reason. Okay? Think of our bodies, the way that they're, they're explaining mediumship. Because the, the reason they're having me explain mediumship right now is because human beings on this planet, guys, you are experiencing this every moment of your life. You're just not aware of it. Okay? You're just not conscious of it. So they're, they're just bringing this to your consciousness for a reason right now. Think of it this way. Right? You know how we have data? We have 3G speed, 4G for your cell phones, 5G. Like 5G things to just get uploaded. Like, you know, you can download stuff like super quick, right? You don't even have to wait for processing time. High vibrational beings such as angels and stuff. Number one, they're not in physical form. They're energy. Number two, they're of such high vibration, not such high frequency. Think of it as data. Th your human body is the equivalent of one of those like old school Nokia freaking cell phones with like the black screen, like, like the green screen that only had like snake, you know, like the first cell phones, <laughs> right? That would be us as human beings. And connecting to the divine as a medium, which they try to connect to us every single day, <laughs> is like, you being, you trying to connect that phone, which is our bodies, and trying to connect that phone to 6,000 G speed. Literally, that, that's what it is. So when people say, how is it possible that you can tell the future or the present or the past? Time is an illusion. Time does not exist. Why doesn't it exist? Because it's all energy, speed, right? Light. I just got the chills because they're, they're really having me. I don't know. It'll make sense. So with that being said, their frequency is so high <laughs> that they're at a faster speed. So they already, they're already in the future while we're still in warp speed in the, like right now, what's the future has already happened. And because they are such high frequency and high speed, right? When they connect to me or mediums in general as a medium, that's why it's called a download. They literally, it's just like, I'm, we can, I can only connect with them for like maybe a second, okay? I've already connected to them. They go like this, it's cause it's so quick. And they just dumped maybe hours of information into my consciousness in a snap so the channeling is the process of me taking that information that they downloaded in a snap and decoding it and slowing it down to our speed so i can tell you what they're saying okay because think of it think about it if we have our iphone and you have 5g speed you're like great it takes like no time to load so imagine in that example connecting to an angelic being their speed is so freaking high they're in the future they're so fast that when they connect to me they just give me boom all this information right but then what what happens to our physical bodies when that happens after i read i'm exhausted because my processor as my being a nokia phone that one second, that 10 seconds of connecting to them to download all the information they just gave me as the future burns me the hell out. My battery's about to die. It like literally in one side, it's like going from 100% battery to dead. 
why the hell did they just have me channel that for 15 minutes right now and have not post the reading I was going to post? Because that's what Archangel Michael right now is exposing. The fact. This happens to you on a regular basis. And he wants to bring something up to your awareness, your perception right now, so that you can have more awareness and I guess perceive the messages that he wants to share tomorrow or for your personal life in the way that it's meant to. If you're feeling exhausted right now, okay? No energy, dreamed. It is because Archangel Michael and angels have been trying to give you messages non-stop that's that's why he had me share that right now basically there are no accidents okay if you were led here energetically it's because this message is for you if you were led here and you've been feeling stressed exhausted burnt out archangel michael is taking control right now it's like come over here right now click this reading because i want you to hear this mother effer the reason that you're tired and exhausted and burnt out is because i've been trying to download information into your being a million times per day and you are not listening to it so but the information i'm trying to share with you is so crucial so vital for your progression that i'm going that i'm continuing to try to have you listen. And I'm burning you out until you do. So if you asked for a sign or if you've been confused because he's showing me. They also show me cards. They're showing me the eight of swords. Nine of swords and ten of swords. Those are uh, yucky cards. Swords indicate your mind. Self-imposed prisonment of your own thoughts. Anxiety. Overthinking. Right? Ten of swords being pinned down. Bleeding out. Like you feel dead. You feel like the world is falling on top of you. Archangel Michael saying, no, I'm burning you out and making you exhausted because I am trying so hard to get through to you. It's out of love. That's what he's saying. So for whoever is watching this, literally, Maybe this is all they wanted me to share. The, he does not want me to post the reading I, I got. I, I just recorded for two hours. Because they wanted this to be shared. For whoever clicked here, it's meant for you. If it doesn't resonate with you, then whatever. Okay? <clears throat> if you're here, no doubt in my mind, you feel like ass. Lots of times throughout the day. You're trying to be positive. You're exhausted. That is why. It is crucial right now, especially whenever you watch this. You need to meditate. If you've never meditated before, Google guided meditation or binaural beats, whatever. Close your eyes. Listen. Listen. Listen, not just like you're hearing sound. Listen to, you know, that voice you hear inside your head. Or listen to feeling. How do you listen to feeling? By just feeling it. That's how Archangel Michael's trying to um, communicate with you. When you're about to fall asleep, you know that like trance state when you're like kind of sleeping and you have all these like weird thoughts and right when you wake up in those twilight um, moments of your um, experience, that is when Archangel Michael is trying to deliver you the most important messages because that's uh, unfortunately as because we're dense, that's when we are surrendered enough where he can actually get through to you. So for whoever this is, please listen right now. You're going to get a message in dream state. Meditate. You're going to hear. You're going to whatever it is that you're hearing. You're not crazy. He's saying it is me trying to tell you something. It is me trying to tell you something. The exhaustion you're feeling, the stress you're feeling, it is because you are too caught up in your mind thinking. And thinking, and thinking, and thinking, and thinking. And the thinking is not coming from me. The thinking is coming from your programming, your brain, your humanness. And you're thinking so much that you're not hearing 
what I'm trying to say. Because the only thing that exists is love and the feelings that are in your heart space. That is the only thing that's true. That is what he's trying to say. Because we're humans and we have a brain, we have to have a balance between emotion, love, and logic. Yes. However, for whoever this is for, he's saying you're 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 leading in an op in the way you're in, in an opposite way. Okay. Please go within. You have to surrender. Surrender to your emotions. Feel your emotions. Let go of shame, guilt, any negative feelings and thoughts that you have about your emotions. Why? Because your emotions, it's the only thing that's real, okay? That's the energy that I'm giving to you. And all of your thoughts surrounding it doesn't come from you. It comes from the programming that you have, moon card, which is your subconscious mind, programmed into you from your parents, your upbringing, society, energy that's not even yours. Understand that. So you're supposed to instead honor and trust your feelings, feel your feelings, listen to your inner guidance, okay? Believe and trust that that is true. And Archangel Michael saying, if you lead and you, with your heart space, if you don't deny what you're feeling right now, that's the message he's trying to deliver to you, Okay? Get in tune with your emotions. Stop denying your emotions. Understand that when you do that, the logic then comes to you. If you lead with whatever you feel, it becomes logical. However, if you deny your feelings and you only think with logic, you're actually living your life based off the perspective of everything and everyone that programmed you from the moment you were born, which is not your truth. And that's why you feel like shit. So he showed me the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Okay? Really in your mind. Five of Cups energy, sadness. Whoever's clicking here is going through some ish. You might have had a tower moment, tower card. Archangel Michael is has been around you nonstop. Temperance card, trying to give you balance. Strength card, <clears throat> trying to give you the strength, okay, to get out of your thoughts. Understand what strength truly means, okay? Strength does not mean ignoring your feelings and only thinking with logic that's what leads you to the ten of swords which is being dead <laughs> right he's also showing me that moon card which is very deep subconscious thoughts okay that are going to stop you from your abundance he's showing me the devil card though that's why he's making such an emphasis you not to be afraid of the devil okay that's why he had me channel what i channeled in the beginning because understand that the devil energy is part of our human experience. Again, us being human in the center. Constantly being pulled up to the divine and being pulled down to the lower energies, the lower frequencies. That is the devil energy. When you're only thinking with your thoughts, you are only functioning with your humanness. Which is temporary because humans die, right? So that is the only place where the devil can exist. The devil right now, devil energy, is bombarding your life without you knowing, okay? Making you think that you're being logical but really ruining your life, okay? And the more that you get into these thoughts, the more that you're going to get away from your path. So for whoever clicked here, it is because you are ignoring the messages that Archangel Michael has been sending to you. And this is in regards to love this is in regards to what path you need to go to this is in regards to how you should um deal with your emotions this is in regards to they're giving me they're showing me career in particular for whatever reason i don't know if somebody if somebody is unhappy where they are because he showed me the ace of pentacles which is a brand new stable beginning abundance like money 
all over the place, okay? Um, and career and skills in particular. For whoever this is, I feel like you're stuck in a lack mentality. All of this stuff comes from the devil energy because you, whoever, whoever is here, you are destined right now to have the biggest new beginning. I mean, blessings all over the place, which is pretty much what I saw in the reading I just recorded. Full card, brand new beginning. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles, which is union, love, relationship, abundance, home. I see marriage, Hierophant. I see four of wands, creating a home. Things that for whoever's watching, I feel like you don't even think you're in a place to even think about it. Okay? But that's not be that's not the truth. That is the devil energy trying to stop you. Okay? So right now, for whoever this is for, this is just a reminder that Archangel Michael, angels do exist. That um, knock, 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 I'm trying to talk to you. Knock, 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 get out of your head. Knock, 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 the devil is trying to lead you astray. The devil does not only come in the form of your thoughts, but also in the form of people, situations, and things. Why? Because our thoughts create our reality. Remember that. We are just avatars attracting energy so whatever you're thinking is what you're attracting so if you're in your thoughts thinking negatively all the people that are going to come to you are going to reflect that so again the devil shows up in in the, your thoughts and in, in people okay so as long as you're in your thoughts trying to be logical you are going to reject the people that love you you're going to reject the path you need to take you're going to reject love you're going to reject abundance and you're going to be tricked into following the devil's path which seems nice for a while but never lasts just like your logic doesn't last because we die right so though this sounds very heavy it's not really so heavy it's part of the human experience right now this is i guess just a channeled message i have it's a wake-up call for whoever clicked this you probably clicked here wanting to hear that somebody misses you or you're gonna get a phone call i saw all, all of that i saw that in the reading i just i just recorded However, Archangel Michael's here to tell you, you have free will. Why do you have free will? What that means is, well, didn't I just channel that the future already exists, right? Because there's no such thing as time. That is true. But that's exactly it. There's no such thing as time. And energy cannot be destroyed. So if in your future... You are meant to have an abundant relationship with somebody. You're supposed to end up married to somebody. And that somebody, let's say, it's an energy. So if on this planet right now, that person, that energy is in the body of the person you love. When that person dies, that energy is not going to die. It's going to go into the body of somebody else, right? That's why past lives exist. So with that being said, that's what free will is. Yes, the future exists already. That energy is yours. It's like you being here and what's meant for you going around in the circles around, like waiting for you to let go of the devil energy and just one second to allow it so it can just attach itself to you and, and manifest how it's supposed to. So with that being said, yes, your future already exists, but free will exists. So if you choose in this lifetime to go the path of the devil energy, that doesn't mean you're going to have an awful life and you're going to be a drug addict and like, de you know, dead in a ditch or poor. No, but it means that you're not going to manifest what's truly the bliss that's truly meant for you, which you're supposed to experience in this lifetime. Because for who I'm channeling, you're a very evolved soul. Okay, you are put on this planet right now to end generations and generations of patterns that's existed in your lineage and in your ancestry. And you're being given a choice right now. Okay. To follow that path. And claim your abundance. Or. Go a different route. So no, you don't have to end up with this person, right? Let's say the person that's meant for you, right? That doesn't mean they weren't meant for you, though. It just means that you possibly didn't go down the path that you were supposed to go to. That's just an example. In the other reading I recorded, it made more sense. I hope this makes sense. If you're confused with what I'm saying, then it's probably not for you. If this is clicking and hitting you, then this is for you. Basically. 
He's just making it very clear that right now the energies are life-changing. The chariot is here. Excuse me. The chariot signifies cancer energy also. Chariot is a major arcana, which is a major life um, experience and lesson. It's major energy. It's about movement forward with the will to move forward, knowing that the divine is going to guide you, right? It's also cancer energy. Cancer is all about love, nurturing, comfort. So are you going to get on that chariot and move forward or are you not? That's basically why Archangel Michael is pressing this right now. It's like the taxi's here. Okay? It doesn't mean that where you're at right now is a horrible place. But there is something big manifesting for you. In career and love. Okay? And you're about to miss the boat. Just if you get stuck in these negative thought patterns. And also stuck in the thought patterns that... Things are too good to be true. Or the programming, which we're learning collectively, isn't true. That things, you know, like a lot of money and and all beautiful relationships and the picket fence only come to people that work really hard for it. And you've messed up so much in your life that there's no way it's going to happen to you. Understand that that's all programming. You live in a society that <clears throat> basically raised you to be a slave. And instilled fear in you to take away your power. The truth, the only truth that exists, is that thoughts create your reality. And the only thing that truly exists is love. And as long as you honor your feelings and lead your life with love, believe me, there's really no such thing as work. Yes, we gotta work and put energy into things, okay? You don't just manifest and, and go tanning, but... You attract abundance. You don't chase it. You attract it. And the way that you attract abundance, the way that things fall in your lap, is by honoring what you feel shamelessly. So if there's somebody in your life and, you know, it's don't shame yourself for feeling sad or, or whatever or, you know, that things didn't work out, but understand... <clears throat> That if you get into the energy of being angry or wanting to push this person to do or think your way or questioning why this isn't happening for you or dwelling, you are pushing it away. Right now, Archangel Michael just wants you to calm the hell down, meditate. He's trying to really give you clarity on where you're supposed to go. That You're supposed to be making major changes, okay? But you have to surrender. Surrender to, to control. Let go of control. Let go of fear. You're about to be blessed beyond belief in the next month or two. By the end of the year, I'm telling you. If you just let go of your logic for a little bit and follow what's in your heart, logic then will follow you. Everything will become logical if you begin to lead with your heart. Okay? That's what he's saying. This is for somebody. You have to let go. And you know what? When they have me give personal experience and personal examples, it's always for a reason. I'm a human too. That's a big lesson for me too, and it probably will be for my whole life. Because as a medium, you know... I keep a lot of things to myself. I'm not, I don't share everything that I see. But they've shown me my life for the next 20 years, basically, in images. But I'm still human, so, like, I never know for sure. I do know we have free will, so I always, you know, that's where my lessons come in and the control issues and the learning how to surrender. It's hard for me because they show me a picture. <clears throat> like, I always know in advance. Like, I'm going to end up with this person. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I always know, okay? But that doesn't mean, because I know about free will, that it's going to happen, right? But they show me. I know what's meant to happen. And my lesson is to learn how to let go of control, right? Imagine the amount of control you get when you know that the divine always shows you what's going to happen and it always ends up happening. Do you know how easy it is to F shit up? 
when you already know what the finish like where you're supposed to go and it's not it doesn't look like that right now so you're like what the hell <laughs> you know it's a constant battle so something like that wow 34 minutes but listen this it sounds long-winded but it's not me there's a reason he had me stop and I'm going to pull a couple cards just to confirm that for you guys. You know what? What other? What better way than to, what better way to start than with an Archangel Michael card? I told you every, re every reading on this channel is going to be different. This was, I've never done something like this, but, <coughs> excuse me. Wow. I'm sorry. I just split it and it says, it's pay attention to your freaking dreams. I'm not even going to pull it. It'll probably come out. <coughs> but that was the message. But if you're new to this channel, you're probably like, What? Did I not say honor and trust your feelings? This is, these are the cards that came out of my mouth. Now I have to pull it. Like, seriously? <laughs> if you're new to this channel, you're like, what the hell is this? I clicked, I clicked to see if he's going to call me. Oh my God, did I know? I had to piece this back together. It turned off. You can't make that up. Guys, you know, okay, so if you're new here, I know this is weird. <laughs> but, you know, I follow. I follow what they tell me. That's how they bring me abundance, and that's how they bring you abundance. And literally, I have involuntary movements. I just picked that up, and it's all the freaking cards <clears throat> that I that he had me say, literally verbatim. Pay attention to your dreams. This is my prayer. Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. Say that before bed. Because when you say that, remember, angels will not... Oh my God. I just placed... It's him taking over my body. What I was about to say was angels. <laughs> I have the chills because he does not play. What I was about to say was, remember, angels do not overstep their boundaries. He will try to connect with you, try to connect with you, try to connect with you. You'll feel tired and tired and tired because you have to allow them to help and then they do. And the moment I was, while I was saying it, look what I just pulled out. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation. He's literally here. Like, I know that he's here. But the reason I'm saying that is, is because it's amazing to me when... They always do this on this channel, but it's it's so touching to me when because you, it is so touching to me when they are able to physically show you guys what I know I'm experiencing. But it's so easy for other people. You guys don't know what I'm experiencing, so you don't. My reality is, no one understands my reality because it's my reality. But it's beautiful when they put in the energy to make my reality that I have on a regular basis, energetically, like physically share that with you. Because my reality right now is I can see them, I can feel them, I can hear them. And they're doing that for you. That is very touching. Even if it's just for whatever, however long this is. Literally, I said, but you have to ask. So you have to say these, say, say these messages before bed. Like say, listen, just give me, just tell me, tell me what you want to tell me. I'm going to let go. Of, I'm just, I don't want to think about it. Just tell me, tell me what you want me to know. And that's going to come through in the form, like I said, or he said, it's not really me, of your feelings. That is how the divine speaks. Not in your mind, not in your logic. Because remember, your logic does not come from you. It comes from the bullshit that you learned from your family, that they learned from their 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 society and their era, that they learned from their parents' era, and so on. Do you understand that that's the human experience? That's not reality. The truth is in your feelings. Once you learn to allow that light into your being and trust, no, I feel love for this person. I'm not going to deny it. Or No, I don't feel happy in this career. I'm going to go after this. I'm going to start my business that I want to open. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to let go of fear. Understand that when you honor and trust your real feelings, that means you are honoring and trusting Archangel Michael speaking to you. That, is, that, is, that means that you are allowing them 
to guide you. And when you do that, again, then everything truly becomes logical. So logical that you don't even have to think at night. Because like I said, I saw the eight, nine, and ten of swords right now. And he wants you to get out of that energy. Because if you saw the beautiful freaking reading that I just recorded in that energy, you weren't going to embrace it. You were just going to lay down, right? Expect it and incorporate it into the loop of your thoughts. That's not how he wants you to go about it. Because you're about to get blessed. Honor and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act, act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Yes. You see how it says, this is help me understand and express my emotions with love. Because you're so in your mind that you're not even understanding your own truth. That comes from fear. And unfortunately, the fear does not come from you. It comes from your experiences. And your experiences come from your programming, the moon card, your subconscious thoughts, your pain, your trauma, your upbringing. It comes from the karma that's not even yours. You gotta let it go. Let go of fear now. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. I kid you not. That's what he said earlier. That you have to feel like you deserve it. Let go of shame, guilt, feeling like, oh, well, I didn't work for this. I don't, why would I? I messed up so much. Remember? That's, that, that was exactly the channeled message that I got because he's here. He said, you can get stuck in the loop. That's the devil. That's not reality. Of saying, yeah, I feel this, but, you know, it's too good to be true. I don't deserve something so great. I don't deserve to be blessed. I don't deserve to excel and open this business. I don't des deserve to have the love of my life. There's no way this person truly loves me. There's no way this is real. This is just going to end up terrible. I can't trust this person. Why? Because I've, I've, done, I've screwed up so many times in my life. Blah, 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 blah. Understand. Number one, if you've ever screwed up in the past or whatever, or things you're ashamed of, number one, that's not, that wasn't your truth either. Those were unconscious actions that you took based on the, again, programming that you have before you learn how to honor and trust your feelings. Okay? That's the ego. All right? Archangel Michael standing up for you, saying, just feel feel what I'm giving you I'm telling you for whoever clicked here if you've had the patience to hear him through out this entire message the blessing that you're going to receive between now and December is huge you are part of the I mean blessed tribe <clears throat> and yes you deserve it because it's written for you and I feel like for whoever this is this is um, past life energy that I'm getting right now. This has been a, ca a karmic uh, contract that you have been experiencing lifetime through lifetime through lifetime of lifetime, lifetime of this, which is, again, it always ties in why he had me channel that. Having this abundance being me meant for you. I'm talking like you're meant to be a millionaire and have the love of your life, right? But every lifetime, you are about to receive it and then you reject it yourself because of fear or something that you've gone through. And every lifetime, that energy carries over and carries over and carries over and carries over. And basically, this lifetime, you're such an evolved soul. The karma is so much. That is why it feels more intense with every life, with every lifetime. <laughs> because you're feeling not just the feelings right now, of being in your head, but of all the times in your past lives that you've rejected the same thing. It really does work like that. Even if you let, take past lives out of it, even in your present life, your subconscious thoughts, what, what does it do? Dictates 95% of your actions. Notice that you get stuck in a mental loop without even noticing you attract the same thing in your life over and over and over and over and over. 
It's all energy. Even when you die, it keeps going. Please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with this situation. Please help me feel, be filled with faith and peace at all times. You got to relax and let go. You have to just take action based on what you feel. Don't, don't ignore your feelings right now. It's time to be speak your truth, like real truth right now. Let go of control. Anything that you do right now that is not your truth is going to feel so heavy right now. You didn't even know it. Oh my God. Use your... <laughs> you cannot. Oh my God. Use your imagination and use... I'm getting chills. And you'll see the answer. Energy healing work. Did I not say that he wants you to connect with him through dream state? Through meditation. What's your imagination? This is a, he's just confirming the gentle messages, you guys. It's beautiful that he can do this for you. Using your imagination is again meditating. Just close your eyes. He's trying to speak to you. And next to the energy healing work is exactly that. <laughs> it's using your imagination while meditating. He's gonna he's trying to talk to you. <gasps> Oh my god wow and look where it came out too <laughs> pay attention to your dreams use your imagination and you'll see the answer on top of each other of all places dear god thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways i told you new and unexpected ways it's only unexpected because you're perceiving it as unexpected because you're stuck in this pattern it's been meant for you your whole life. Okay. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help with this situation. Energy healing work. Thank you for sending me healing energy to me, through me, for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. Okay. Through... Connecting with high integrity healers, teachers, and of energy healing modalities, would, which right now would be me. He is basically saying, through me, he's connecting you to me to tell you to honor and trust your feelings. He's trying to talk to you. Look at that white light in both of those cards. He's also telling you that through meditation, through binaural beats, through guided meditations, he's going to guide you to your feelings so you can hear what he's trying to say. He's blocking you from some crazy double energy that's trying to... Oh my God. I told you he's trying to. Oh my God. Yo, I'm sorry. He's trying to block you from some crazy ass double energy that's trying to lead you in the wrong direction. He's trying to get you to detach from this freaking situation that you are in because of your thoughts going the wrong, down the wrong path. Because you're not admitting the truth to yourself. And the truth is your feelings. You can't make this shit up. As it's coming out of my mouth, excuse me, I get excited because it's like, I, I, I'm number one, I'm connected to him. So his energy, his frequency is so high. That's why I get hyped up and I get faster, but just seeing it being shared, <clears throat> detach from the situation, let her detach from fear. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama. Oh my God. I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama that I may be centered in. The knowingness that peace is everywhere within me in this situation. The situation you got to detach from is, is, I told you, it's, it's your logical mind. You're ignoring, you're ignoring the truth. Whoever this is, is ignoring your truth. You're either focusing too much on what someone did, didn't do, what could happen, what could go wrong, what's not, what's not happening, or the person that you want to be with is taking too long and they're an asshole. And this. that's all the, that's the devil's job is to lead you astray. And you're going too far into it when you're literally at the brink of receiving the best thing of your life. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so I can let, 
I can't. I can't say anything. I, accept, I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Uh, thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. I told you that he showed me the strength card and he said, however, he wants you to be strong in the right way because you think you're being strong, but you're not. Wowzers. I love when he does this. Oh, and then I pick this up. <laughs> I can't. Literally? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I get so excited. He's confirming. He's like, wait, you didn't confirm this? Uh, what else? Uh, seriously? He's going to confirm every single word? He's like, hell yeah, I am. I don't play. I'm an archangel. <laughs> This situation is already resolved. I told you. That goes with the message that he had me channel about the fact that the future already exists. It's already in existence. It is already yours. And you see there's a child clinging on to him. It's been yours since you were born. Archangel's, Archangel Michael's job is to try to protect human beings from the devil, which leads you to think that these things are not meant for you. So you can go lifetime after lifetime after lifetime missing it. And he's here like, God damn it. Are you going to do this shit again? Basically. So he's saying, look, this is already yours. Keep your eyes on the targeted intention and go forward fears fearlessly. You can't make it. You, you just can't make it up. You really just cannot. This situation is already resolved. I give any worries and cares and concerns to you in exchange for true peace and always. Thank you for resolving this. In a in a divine okay, I says. I give any worries, cares, and concerns to you in exchange for true peace and always. Thank you for resolving this. In a divinely perfect way. You know what that means. Number one. If you ask, they help. Number two. If you surrender, they give you what's meant for you. The only word, number three. Worrying and ha having all these concerns is not peace because it's double energy. Because it's your thoughts. Okay. So just give him your worries, your cares, your concerns, everything. And he's just going to resolve it. How is he going to resolve it? By allowing you to go into your feelings, like he said, and honor them because that's the truth. He's just trying. That, that's what he does. Is trying to re, he, he tries to remove the veil because the illusion is, the illusion is that the devil has power. The devil makes you believe you're shackled. But the devil has no power. Low vibrational energy has no power. It has power to manipulate your mind as a human being, but eternally? No. And again, not to bring religion into it, but that's all that religion, I mean, spiritual texts, but the Bible, for example, it explains this very same concept, this very same thing, so just different wording. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus my inner vision and intention. Remember, I, they had me channel about how the reason that I'm able to connect is because I, I already have the intention of raising my vibration and same thing. Okay? If you keep your intention, if once you go into your feelings and you honor that, the energy healing work is letting go of, you know, the fear... It, he's just going to let you move forward. And look, and then you can't, it's just, ugh, the alignment is ridiculous. By the way, for those of you that, are, you know, <laughs> my energy is different every reading. Sometimes I'm very calm, sometimes I'm whatever. I don't always voice this, like openly, like it doesn't come to my awareness to even say it, but it is right now. I guess probably not to talk about myself, but if you feel this energy yourself and you, so that you know what you're feeling. Whenever you see me like more hyped up and like, 
It's, it's Archangel Michael. It's an archangel that's around. Not just a spirit or an ancestor because I connect to the earth someone I crossed over. Yes, they're important, but Archangel's energy is so high vibe that you can, you feel it. But like I said, when I turn this off, I'm crashing. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing, releasing any fears or doubts, <laughs> granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. Go forward fearlessly. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me the confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. I told you, look at the alignment. This row. Pay attention to your dreams and your imagination, meditating, etc. Because I want you to know that this is already yours. This situation is already resolved. You're in your head. You have but... but you have to honor and trust your feelings so that you so that you can bring that to your consciousness and then involves healing your energy okay and keeping your eyes on your intention and your intention is what you feel but in order for this to actually for you to live this you have to let go of fear freaking now you got to detach from the bullshit and you need to go forward fearlessly can you make that up <clears throat> so all you got to do is say you got to give him the you have to allow him, ask him for help. You have to say, yes, please, I'm surrendering to you. That's the only way that he can. He's trying to, but you're not listening. You have to like be conscious of it and be like, okay. Ask him to help you, admit the truth, and the truth, he's showing it to you. Let's, there's one final one. Wow. And that just fell by itself. That wanted to make an impact. I'm done. Make a commitment. Oh my God. Oh my God. For a lot of you, this, this has to do with... Commitment is not just about love. It's about, number one, committing to yourself. If you don't commit to yourself and your feelings, you can't make a commitment to anybody or anything, truly. Even if you have a job or a relationship, you could only truly be committed to something when you're truly committed to yourself. And you're only truly committed to yourself when you live in a state of honoring and trusting your feelings. But this is very literally, I mean, this guy is on his knees. <laughs> For a lot of you, this is in regards to being somebody wanting to be in a relationship with you or you wanting to be in a relationship with somebody. Maybe you're upset because someone's not committing to you and you're in your thoughts or vice versa. Understand that it doesn't matter because if they're the ones that are not committing to you and you're the one that's angry... Remember that thoughts create your reality. You guys are in the same energy then. You guys are in the same energy. When you make a commitment to just say, look, I know this is what's meant for me is meant for, for me. And I'm going to let you guide me, Archangel Michael. And that means I'm committing to myself and my happiness. And that's all I'm going to do. That's when a commitment will come to you. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. Fully open my heart to every experience. Because for whoever's watching, you're, you're so closed off to everything that you're, you're, not, you're not listening. You are guarded and protected as hell. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and ensuring that we are safe and that all our needs are met. <laughs> the, the wording, you can't make it up. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it is right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. Wow. You know what's important about this? Not, I mean, not besides the fact that he's saying that you're guarded and protected. That it says not only that you're safe, but... I'm making sure that all your needs are met. Didn't, isn't that what he had me channel? That as long as you believe in them, believe in him, 
and lead with your heart and love and trust your feelings and act accordingly and let go of fear abundance comes to you you don't work for abundance you do work you put you act accordingly but true abundance you attract it and the work you put towards continuing to attract it is not hard labor it's natural labor <laughs> like um it's just you know like it's 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 life it's not like a uh, slavery that's what he he's he listen i want to tell you what came out in that reading i recorded but i'm not but it was beautiful as hell but somebody needs to get out of there of the of this double energy okay um I was not going to, well, I was not going to do nothing. I was going to stop my control issues is what I was going to do. Um, disregard me. That's my lesson. Okay. Just going to pull a couple of tarot cards and then that's it. So every reading here is going to be different. Look, look at the mother effort. I can't. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot, but I can. Oh my God. And the moon. <laughs> Did you see how, again, because it's mediumship, you guys. So what that means is they take over my body. So things just like fall over. I look cl clumsy as all hell. There, you, did you just see how that was, number one, that was Archangel Michael and the Judgment card. And I did channel the chariot too. You see how they're doing that? It's, it's an energetic takeover. It's energy. They literally, they literally control the cards. Did you see how that just flipped out? <laughs> look, I channeled this. Again, it's all just the energy I'm feeling, but look who's here. Look what they're saying. Number one, the devil is keeping in the illusion that you're shackled. Right? The higher friend, number one, is higher knowledge. It is awareness, consciousness, everything that we spoke about. He's also in other decks called the, um, the Pope right spiritual awareness the number five signifies change right the devil energy does not want you to become the hierophant the hierophant also in terms of a relationship is a commitment it is marriage. This is the marriage card because it's an institution. It is a ceremony. It is making things official. It is you being enlightened. It's you being in your throne. But what does the devil do? What does the devil do? The devil, though, instead, keeps you the number four. The number four doesn't is, is before the number five. These are pentacles. Pentacles signify things on the earthly plane, the material plane. This is somebody being blocked blocked off you are blocking your heart for the life of you thinking that by squeezing onto these material things things on earth money work guarding yourself you're somehow creating security you're not creating shit what you're doing okay is Causing yourself literally brain damage because that pentacle on your head looks heavy as hell, okay? And holding that pentacle around your chest like that does not look very comfortable, okay? And you're gripping onto this so tight that you can't even do anything about it. Not even living your life. Yeah, you have a crown on. But you look ridiculous. This is the crown you're supposed to have spiritual awareness so this is what the devil does it gives you the illusion with that crown that you're stable that you're good that you're you're doing this for your security that you're you know but really it's 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 you're blocking your heart keeps you from actually gaining abundance more pentacles okay you're holding on so tight you can't make any more pentacles Wow. <clears throat> Did you see how this just flipped out? The moon card and the ten of cups. All of these cards which I channeled. Again, he pops out. 
that's why he's making it a point because this this is really he is listen when when you're about to receive a blessing a big one the depth that is the point of but that's it's nothing scary that that is part of the human experience he tries his hardest to keep you away from it that that's that that's the point the moon the subconscious mind deep feelings fear everything we spoke about your shadow side i said in that reading that i got ten of cups you're this is where you're going love abundance this is marriage union this definitely has something to do with love because the ten of pentacles which i also channeled is love it's a union it's a marriage but it's um pentacles so it's like it, it signifies things on the earthly plane like material things like your home your house your kids right but cups signify your emotions so the ten of cups is the highest level of and i, I just picked this up this, i channeled this too tower the ten of cups is the highest level of emotion that you can possibly receive so this is love this is you living in that energy so therefore you receive that energy you're supposed to be in a relationship with someone you're supposed to be living in bliss but you're stuck in these illusions moon car archangel michael's here creating a tower moment i channeled that too it's just reminding you because it's happening the tower moment is sudden up people things happening out of nowhere it doesn't always have to be bad okay it just means that it's sudden so it, it seems scary but what it really is it's divine intervention keep having to piece this back together so basically you're going to continue to have tower moments which is like drama everything seems like it's chaos chaotic your life's falling apart okay Again, the moon is your subconscious programming, right? You have control over this, but you don't know it. That's why Archangel Michael led you here to bring it to your awareness. You see, the thing about the tower is, especially with the moon, what's being emphasized here is that it's all about your perception. The tower is not a bad thing. You have to allow the tower to get become destroyed. So that you can rebuild your own freaking tower because the tower that you have as of right now you didn't build it your parents bullshit built it your society built it your experiences built it your trauma your loops of thought patterns that you didn't even create your abandonment issues your commitment phobia your addictions etc <coughs> right it's not a bad thing to let that break down it's scary because you don't know anything other than that but that's that is the reason that this is a major arcana it holds the more the most energy because it's a major life lesson because that is the path to love the path to love and abundance is knowing that you're born on earth and you don't get to build your tower. The tower is built for you. Right? And you're led by the moon. By thoughts and feelings that you're not even aware of. Right? That's the human experience. So then you, you're left disoriented and in, in, in a weird state of chaos and fear when... This tower that was built for you no longer makes sense. So that's what a tower moment is. When you start seeing that chaos and drama keeps happening over and over, and it's a tower moment, a tower moment, setting up people, setting up people. That is the divine's way of helping you and letting you know, hey, this tower that was built for you does not align, does not match the situation that's already resolved for you, what's in <clears throat> what's actually written for you to have you understand but because it's your fears and your thought patterns are subconscious <clears throat> you're not even conscious enough 
to know what to trust, to know if this, if the fear is the truth or your feelings or what's the, that's the human experience. <laughs> you know, that's the human experience. That's why there's the sun here, which is also illumination. <clears throat> right? So sorry, I keep my throat hurts a little bit. So, and this goes with the channeled message about time. Time's an illusion, right? And everything's about perception, especially with that moon card. You can perceive the tower. <clears throat> you could perceive the tower and the tower moments to be happening for a very long time. For how long in terms of time that you decide to stay in this energy is actually your choice. But because it's dictated by your subconscious thought patterns you are not aware that it is your choice to get out of here because your destiny is already ready right because your power is not in your subconscious thoughts your power is in your feelings so when you start having tower moments and that's and, and if you were led here it's because you are this discomfort that's the divine's way of letting you know it's time to get on the chariot, which you saw come out. And chariot is cancer energy again and move towards what makes you feel secure for yourself. <laughs> it's an uncomfortable process, but this is the divine's way of letting you know you're not in alignment with your true life's purpose right now. And I'm not going to let you watch a two-hour reading, okay, which I was about to post about the beautiful thing that you're supposed to be happen having, which is the Ace of Cups, which is a brand new beginning in love, love freaking pouring out of everything. I'm not going to tell you that without telling you what's blocking you. <coughs> wow. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me for my coughing. They just want a couple more cards. Oh my god, can you make that up? <laughs> Look what's in the bottom. He's just pulling. Oh my god, and the ace of swords. Just confirming everything I've channeled. The ace of pentacles. I said they showed me that. You're being given a gift. A brand new stable beginning. Abundance. The ace of swords. Whenever I get the ace of swords, that's that's the card of truth. Oh my god, again. That is the card of truth signifying. I'm putting my stamp on this message. This is truth. However, however, the swords also signify what? What did I say swords signify? Your mind, your logic, communication, your thought patterns. And this is exactly what they had me channel. You are about to be given the biggest blessing of your life. Okay? But... Ace of Swords means mental clarity. It is your choice what you do with that sword. You could use that sword to hold the crown that's going to be placed on your head. So the mental clarity is the enlightenment that's going to bring you this abundance. Or you could use the sword to cut yourself, which is what the devil is here again. Again, this is the emphasis on this mother effort. Trying to keep you heavily in your thoughts. And go the wrong way. Do you see how they are confirming? Literally, oh my god. Do you see how they are? I just can't. I am so happy that they're doing this. Look at this. I am so happy that through me, they are doing this. Because it means, look at that. <laughs> the world to me. It means the world to me. It's not validation. It's no ego here. I'm, I'm not even present. I'm in a trance. I wish I could be sleeping right now, to be honest. <clears throat> they are showing you visually what I experience when I'm in a mediumship experience. They are moving my hands. <laughs> Five of Cups, sadness. Nine of Swords, being your head, the anxiety. This is where you're being stuck. This is all the devil trying to keep you here. The chariot's been here, trying to help you move forward. Every time here you're sad, right? Look at this. <clears throat> Five of Cups. Crying over spilled milk. 
only focusing on the three cups that have spilled over, everything that's gone wrong, everything else, you know, there's no way, every, this is too good to be true. Meanwhile, there are two cups behind you, which is the two of cups, which is love or relationship. You can't turn it around to look at it because you're focusing on the negative. That's this mother effort that's doing that. Double, right? And then here comes the chariot, like, you know, oh my God, look, with the seven of swords, self-deception, saying, okay, taxi's here. Do you want to get out of this energy? But you deceive yourself again with the swords, with the swords, getting in your mind. And instead of getting away from this, you're leading with logic, ignoring your thoughts, and you're blocked. And <laughs> literally, and you're blocked. And you're blocked. I mean, oh, wow. You can't make that up. The message is clear. And it's also clear that <clears throat> if you're resonating, that this is for you. And it's also clear that angels exist. All right, I'm going to... He just wants to confirm it again. All right, cool. What deck? Hermetic. And it's super late. I should be sleeping. Every look at the chariot again. What do you want to say? What else do you want to emphasize, Archangel Michael? Because I think I'm going to leave this here. We get the point. You're trying to get them to change their, what they're focusing on. Because you're missing your blessing. Alright. But he wants to say something else. It's hard to shuffle with all these other cards over here. I don't want, I don't like it to look messy. What else, you, what else do you want to say? Oh, really? He wants one? That's We've been channeling for so long. Sorry, I'm having a conversation with him. <clears throat> Give me a card for pay attention to your dreams. Princess of Swords. I'm not doing reversals. Princess of Swords is <clears throat> communication. Okay? About what? Lord of loss in pleasure. Five of cups, again, for honor and trust your feelings. <clears throat> you are not honoring and trusting your feelings. You're in sadness. You are not experiencing pleasure, again, with the Ace of Swords, because you're in your thoughts. So he's trying to help you get out of that. Let me part your life for fear, please. Jeez. Come on. No. What else do you want to say? Seven of Cups. Wow, you can't make it up. It says Lord of Illusionary Success. So you're in your mind with the swords. Lord of Loss of Pleasure. Lord of Illusionary Success with the Ten of Swords in the bottom. Lord of Ruin. Which I channeled. It says, I'm trying to give you mental clarity on the fact that you, you have a loss of pleasure right now. You're unhappy in your situation, whether it's you think that somebody else hurt you or whatever the case may be. There is a way out of this. You think that you're being successful right now by detaching yourself from the situation, whatever the case may be. You think that your logic is, is what's going to make you successful. But in reality, that's the devil and it, it's what's keeping you in ruin. That's what he's saying. Very, very clearly. <clears throat> yep. Magician. Meaning. Magic. Manifestation. Remember, you're the one that creates this. <coughs> your thoughts. Your thoughts, swords, create your reality. Please remember this. I didn't want this to be so long, but, you know, I'll go. Sorry, Angel Michael. It's this. Three of Cups, <clears throat> Lord of Abundance, on top of energy healing work, I am going to guide you to get out of this illusionary success, loss, and pleasure, ruin, so that you can manifest your actual abundance. Oh, my God. Okay? 
And that comes from detaching yourself from this thought pattern. No. Wow, what's this? Lord of Dominion, Two of Wands. <laughs> wands signify spirituality also. Let me wiggle this. Okay. That's you taking control of your life. And detaching yourself from the situation. And here's a temperance card. Daughter of the reconcilers. Temperance card, which I channel, is my card for the angels. Okay, see his wings? Bringing balance. You are taking, take control of your life and you will have your balance. You will have your abundance. Like literally magically appear and get out of this illusion. I feel for a lot of you, this has to do with love and career, but love too. <clears throat> Six has an and career and then oh my god. Love and career. Remember they emphasize career? Here we go. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Lord of Material Success, and the Ace of Pentacles, which is the abundant offering. Okay? You can't make that up. Something huge is meant for you. Oh my god, I just picked this freaking up. Number one, it was the lovers at the bottom. I didn't notice it, and then I picked it up and it says two of cups. <laughs> Lord of love. You had the five of cups. Remember in the other deck, you ignored the two cups behind you, which is the two of cups, Lord of love. They never guide me to a deck for no reason. <clears throat> this is what you're supposed to have. Right now, you're in loss of pleasure, illusionary success. You think you have it, but you don't. You're leading yourself to ruin. You're magically going to be given abundance. The ability to control your destiny. Reconciliation with somebody and with yourself. It's order reconcilers. Balance. Lord of material success. Lord of the root of the powers of earth, which is like literally abundance. Lord of abundance and Lord of love. Everything. <clears throat> These are supposed to be the most important. <coughs> king of Swords. Prince of the Chariots of the Winds. The King of Swords, okay, has a dark side and a light side. The sword is, again, your mind. We are human after all. But look at this card. This deck says Chariots of the Winds. So it's kind of combining that message with the Chariot card, meaning, yeah, you have to use logic. You're a human being. But the chariots of the wind. So what does that mean? The wind the wind guides you. Right? The wind just blows. What does that mean? This is confirming the message that I channeled about the fact that when you lead with your heart, logic follows. Not the other way around. The chariot of the wind. <laughs> okay? That was, I don't like it when I didn't want you to come like that. He wants one more thing. <clears throat> Excuse me with my coughing. What the? Oh my god. Yep, this is the most important thing. Look what just flew over here. And look what's next to it. You can, wow. <laughs> this is where you're at right now. Nine of Swords. Lord of Despair and Cruelty, next to the Judgment card. The Spirit of the Primal Fire. It's Judgment Day. Basically, that's why he's making a scene. Because you're in this energy right now. You're in the Ten of Swords. You're in the Five of Cups, Loss of Pleasure, Illusionary Success, Lord of Ruin, Despair and Cruelty. It's all, it's all in your mind, okay? I'm not saying get rid of the swords. You're a human. Be the King of Swords, fine. But get on that goddamn cherry, excuse my language, and let the wind blow. And that happens when you find balance between that and, you, and your heart, Lord of Love. You see? The Lord of Love is next to the King of Swords. You cannot, that, that's exactly the message. Logic follows when you lead with love. And that's why he's making a scene, because it's Judgment Day. Remember, time's an illusion, but the energy is here right now where you're about to receive your blessing. Your <clears throat> time's an illusion. They don't care if you miss this bus. You're about to miss the bus. Just change it and just raise your vibe. Right now. Right now. One last thing. Wow. 
<clears throat> look who's back. Again, excuse me with the coughing. The Hierophant, again. <laughs> Magus of the Eternal Gods. Commitment. Spiritually awakened. Higher knowledge. Just pick this up. The Empress and the Sun. <sighs> the Lord of the Fire of the World. Daughter of the Mighty Ones. Magus of the Eternal Gods. This is divine feminine energy. This is the mother. This is the wife. The sun is the happiest card of the deck. It's the divine light. It's clarity. It's family. It's children. It's also pregnancy. Next to the empress, the sun and the empress together is pregnancy. That comes out in every reading. I don't know why, but whatever. But it could also just mean pregnant, uh, pregnant with a new life. The birth of a new life. Hierophant. That involves commitment. That involves being aware. Getting out of that moon energy you can't make that up okay i think we're done here <clears throat> what's this oh, oh, oh we're not done here <laughs> oh my god we're not done here oh my god we're not done here look at who was at the bottom of the freaking deck why number one these two came up i'll talk about them in a second i thought that was beautiful enough but look they are crazy look who's at the bottom of the deck the freaking emperor this is absolutely about a relationship for this is about career and a relationship this is this is a marriage mm-hmm The Empress is committed to the Emperor. Because they're not in the moon energy anymore. They're in the sun energy. It's where you're supposed to freaking be. Living in your truth. Are you seeing this? It's awesome. The Empress is divine feminine energy. The Emperor is divine masculine energy. <coughs> <clears throat> this is the balancing out of masculine and feminine energies, but this is absolutely about a particular relationship for 99% of you because the Knight of Wands and the Six of Cups came out. Six of Cups is reconciling with somebody from the past. Knight of Wands is Lord of Flame and Lightning. It's getting on that horse. Knights take action and moving forward passionately towards what? This is Lord of Pleasure what's meant for you this is the reconciliation card what's meant for you is for you to be well what your heart will tell you but this is absolute this is a marriage somebody this is actually <clears throat> if we're talking relationship i'm not going to tell you what i got in the other reading he wanted me to focus more on the energy right now but to me that's clear that a lot of you are going towards actual marriage and i'm going to pull a card from here <clears throat> then we're done this was actually long I thought it was just going to be a quick message. I, he just made me freaking read for four hours. And I did. Yep. A reading before this. Free yourself. It's time. Wow. <laughs> they are so clear. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. Can't make that up. This is absolutely about. Oh my God. <laughs> this is they just want to emphasize that besides all these messages that apply to in general your whole life that this is a better relationship with someone from your past free yourself reconciliation let go of control issues and express your freaking love <laughs> it's time to take back control of your life Free yourself. Reconciliation. Someone from your past, Six of Cups, which we got, is returning to your life. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Need I say more? Literally just confirmed everything. And literally just confirmed everything and made it extra beautiful. Just to tell you, by the way, I know why he did that. Now he wants three more, and then that's it. I'll, I will tell you why he just did all of this. He, they are something. They don't play. They are something else. 
they are something else. Truly they are. Can I like shuffle like a normal person? Hold on. <clears throat> there. So me just flipped over an engagement. You want to know what this is about? This entire reading retreat. Oh my god! Someone's going. Someone's going on a vacation. By the way, this entire reading, besides it being a message for you guys, okay? You want to know what Archangel Michael just did? This entire time, right? This entire time, this reading had absolutely everything to do with the person you were probably watching this reading for. And then somewhere in the reading, you were like, okay, Archangel Michael doesn't really want to talk about love right now. He wants to talk about my energy. And then at the end, if you watched the whole thing, he wanted to make sure if you let go of your control issues. Because he did not mention anybody in particular until the very last minute of this reading. That is a huge message within itself. It's about the fact that I just recorded the most beautiful freaking reading for two hours. And he stopped me and said, don't post it. Because the people that are meant to watch this are in the wrong energy. And with their control issues, they are watching and only focusing on that other person. Because they're in pain or because they want to know or they're angered or whatever. They're not focusing on what they need to focus on. So this whole reading was a test for you. Because he gave you what he wanted to say, the energy. But he didn't confirm until the very end that, in fact, this entire reading was about that person. very soon worth waiting for <laughs> this entire reading look at how it shifted make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take this entire reading was giving you the steps that you are being guided to take <clears throat> Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Let go of control issues regarding your soulmate. <laughs> Reconcile by flirting with this person. Make the effort. Take this, the steps you're guided to take and free yourself. Take, control, uh, take back control of your life. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. <laughs> Some of you were... I told you already that I saw marriage... For whoever this is. I'm not saying you're going to get married immediately. But you're about to. You're going to end up with this person. Oh my god. Look what's at the bottom. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. The Ace of Pentacles is also an engagement. You are going to have a conversation with this person. And um, let the tower fall. And actually make a decision to. You're either going to get engaged. By the end of this year. Or you are going to make the plan to work towards that. Like openly. Like no bullshit. Okay? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work at, in your love life. That's, that's, that's exactly, that's what this is all about. It's allowing divine timing, letting go of control. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now, which is what he's, Archangel Michael's guiding you to do. Retreat. It's time. Oh my God. He's going to confirm everything. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. <clears throat> I think I saw a trip for whoever this is. This person's either going to come see you, you're going to go see this person. You guys are going to go somewhere together. But it's also asking you to go within. Was this whole reading not about the fact that this is a past life connection? This energy, he had me channel for God knows how long that all of this is meant for you to have. And it's from your past life and it happens over and over and over. And that's why it's so frustrating. Holy crap. This is and this is supposed to happen 
very soon. Very soon. That is why he's making a point to point out this devil. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you back together. Exactly. But if you're in this nine of swords, eight of swords, ten of swords energy. Oh, we all know what this deck does. Um, it's not going to happen. All right. This was very long, but wow. You see what the angels do? This is what being in a state of surrender <coughs> is. This did not start like all the other readings. Oh, he's thinking about you, whatever. I didn't even mention any of that. Because <laughs> I, every time I pick this deck, it's time. Summer. But he told me to put it back. Because he wanted to emphasize, number one, he wanted to show you mediumship. And the way that he did that was doing exactly what he just did. I didn't control him. He controlled me. He didn't make me, men he didn't have me mention what any man was thinking, woman thinking, what he's, what, nothing. But he told you the energy you needed to be in and at the very last moment told you, okay, if you watch till the end, that means you passed. <laughs> you like off control issues. This is what this is about. This is your person. And he, and then he took out the past life relationship card to let you know if you were one of those people that like didn't want to hear his message or you know didn't have the patience well then past life relationship means that it, if you don't come together in this lifetime this bs will continue to happen it's your choice all right this they want one last thing from here <coughs> excuse me this was longer than i anticipated and i would like to sleep sometime in my life more timing wow sacral chakra okay we need some balancing of that spring light at the end of the tunnel <clears throat> hold on i'm like literally choking i'm not i'm not liking that yep i knew it every time literally <clears throat> they always confirm time by the end of this year By the end of this year, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? Things are starting to bloom. That's timing for some of you. Winter into spring. This is really going to come together. Big time. All right? All right. Love and light. Wow. This was craziness. All right. Let me just pull one of these and then we'll leave. This person wants to say something. Just one. Wow. This couldn't be any more confirming. <laughs> Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Wow, they just put it all together. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. You can't deny the divine now, can you? It's, it's really touching. If you hear the water sounds in the background, I'm sorry. It's my little sound machine. <clears throat> it calms me down. Two little cards. <clears throat> sorry for the, the choking. My God. I hope I'm not getting sick. Yikes. It's concerning to me with everything that's going on. Two little cards. Confirm every single word that comes out of my mouth. Every word. There is not one word that they do not confirm somehow. Close your eyes. That's what he asked you to do. And tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. Remember, we had he spoke about the whole feeling like it's too good to be true. You have to allow... You can't Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can 
allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So somebody feels like because of whatever they're going through, that they can't have love. And the emphasis that they put on the fact that this was a past life connection, we got the past life card, and the fact that space and time doesn't exist. So this is somebody that you've been with energetically for lifetimes, for lifetimes, for lifetimes, for lifetimes, every lifetime, trying to see how much more you can just surrender and love yourself and just allow yourself to do be together. Literally, I can't even believe it. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. That is, it is craziness. Wow. And this is an important one, I guess. Somebody needs to hear this. This is for somebody in particular. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think. Emphasis on the word think. Remember thoughts? Your thoughts are screwing you. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. They confirmed everything. And I just picked it up and it's a new beginning. And sacred union and healing. Wow. I'm done. I can't take it. It's like overwhelming with emotion right now. <clears throat> new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship. For it is truly sacred. Sacred is hell. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Wow, this is very touching. If you stayed until the end, then this was for you. And this just popped out for no reason. It says children. Well, there is a reason. Your love life is being affected by children. So this is a very particular message for somebody. Because it says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. There is something here about somebody healing childhood wounds but there is also something about the situation regarding somebody not being able to <clears throat> feeling like they can't be with you even though they can't, they're not telling you because um there are children involved and they feel guilty being with you or there's some kind of feelings regarding children whether it's financially or emotionally and that makes it stop them from being able to embrace the um adventure so it says adventure a new adventure wait it makes them feel like they should not be as adventurous as their heart actually um it's guiding them to be. And um, that is not the way that life's supposed to be. That is not the way that you're supposed to live life. That is not that is not the way that you're supposed to live life. Because you're supposed to love yourself first. Because you deserve love. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You deserve love. You are lovable. Mediumship's amazing, huh? I hope you believe in Archangel Michael now. Love and light. <clears throat> 